still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. <laughs> he has a he's an interesting guy, man, and uh, you know, he believes it so. Kyrie, the earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever. That's news. That's news. Here we go. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from, 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 from deception. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from Large Spaceship, currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference, which will be here in two weeks, in a couple days. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is hovering over the Earth, looking for the second moon that NASA recently announced. I'm not buying it, by the way. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, that's because you are way too busy being distracted, what I like to call blunt force drama. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Concurrently, this show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And if it is not October 24th, 2017, then it is not live and you can't talk to me live. It's a rerun. And if you call the phone number, eh, it's not going to go voicemail. And I will listen to it. I listen to all the voicemails. I read all texts. I won't respond to any texts because I think texts are an abomination on our communication systems. But, eh. quote of the day from the peanut gallery is this. Above all, don't lie to yourself. The man who lies to himself and listens to his own lie comes to a point that he cannot distinguish the truth between him or around him and so loses all respect for himself and for others. And having no respect, he ceases to love. That's from, oh boy, Fyodor Dostoevsky. I do not know this name. Flat Earth Conference. I've, I've got a few announcements. Uh, Flat Earth Conference sign up. Uh, please sign up for live streaming. Uh, if you want any press passes, you're, you're running out of time here. we got two weeks from Thursday. Uh, let's see here. If you want tickets, there are a few, you know, as with any sporting event or any event, really. You know, it's like, oh, I got two big tickets to the ballet. I have two VIPs from one person and three general admission. So if you're looking at VIPs are tough to come by. It's very, very rare. So if you want VIPs, let me know. Shoot me an email at msergeant23 at comcast.net. I'll, you, you know, I'll give you the email of the person that has the VIPs and hopefully you guys connect. I'm basically playing matchmaker here. And with the general admission, same sort of thing. Uh, if you want some general admission tickets, and I don't know the prices offhand, and I'm not going to give out the emails over the air. But if you email me, I will try to match you up, and you still got a little time. But but there are a few tickets 
in case you're wondering. Oh, let's see. Jeffrey Grupp debate challenge still in effect. Email me. If you don't know about it by now, ask somebody. Big money challenge also in effect. You can email Kathy Dunson. Her address is perilandra77 at gmail.com. That's P-E-R-E-L-A-N-D-R-A 77 at gmail.com. That big money challenge is anybody in the scientific community that wants to try to prove a globe, come at us. Flat Earth is waiting for you. Let's see here. It's going to be a call-in show tonight. Big surprise. And I encourage calls. No matter what kind of questions you have, no matter what's on your mind, I'm here to listen. I'm Mark Sargent. (laughs) And I'm here. 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. Or 213-233-3998. Or if you're in the UK, 44203-393-2871. Or if you just want to call and listen on your phone without worrying about me picking you up, that number is 641-793-7117. So there you go. And let's look at the call board. And there was somebody there, and now they're not. Ooh, so I've got kind of a problem because... I, do I have to go into emails? Holy smokes. I wasn't even prepared for that. I was thinking the call board would just light up with all sorts of concerned citizens about what's been going on. And yet, nothing. Because unless I have questions directed at me, I'm not going to address them. I'm, I'm more of a back and forth type of guy. And speeches are one thing, which is also one of the reasons why I'm doing a Q&A at the um, conference is that I really, look, I've been doing back and forth for a long time, and Peanut Gallery is saying, no emails, don't do it. Well, if you don't want me to read emails, I don't need to see what's wrong with the emails. One, I get an infinite supply of them, and two, they're pretty good, and I, I sort of sort of screen them. I Should I? Should I? I'm, I'm going to ask the Peanut Gallery here real quick. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just looking through Skype right now. You know what? I'm going to, uh, yeah, there's one. Okay. Here's here's a guy from all right now finally calls are coming in. Good. And apparently emails no one wants to hear them. So okay, let's pick up the first person. This person is from uh five six one. Wow, now now apparently I beat on the hornet's nest. That's fine. Five six one area code. Here we go. Five six one area code. You are on live with Strange World right now. What's on your mind? Hey, how you doing, Mark? Um, this is Josh. Uh, I actually you know me from YouTube, the plant based comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you. Played, uh, you. You you do some fantastic yeah, impressions. Yeah, I played Donald Trump. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. So I guess um, I'm going to be the first one to ask this. I'm, I go on the, the flat earth message boards all the time, and uh, there's all this information that's out there, you know, concerning yourself. Yep. Um, so I just, um, I mean... A- ask ask us this, but if if there's a concern, if you have a specific question or even just a general question, throw it at me. I I don't care about first impressions. You're an articulate guy. What do you got? Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't um think it's right to jump to any conclusions with like videos people made. But did you did you get a chance to see um the video that um, I think it was MGTV made yep. about I, Patricia? I saw the original, I saw the mirrors, I saw the edited versions. I even watched one. I couldn't make this up if I tried. I watched one an hour ago <laughs> from Jesse Spots. Hopefully you're listening, Jesse, who actually claimed uh, not only all the things on those videos, but people are just piling on now. It's like, okay, I'm also a studio exec and part of the gay mafia could not make this up if i tried (laughs) that's like come on i mean i i don't usually laugh when i when i'm watching videos and you know i'm sitting here in a room i don't usually laugh out loud and i couldn't help it as soon as he said that i was going you got to be kidding me the gay mafia Mm -hmm. i come on you're gonna make some leaps of faith but but yeah sure i'll i'll i will address anything when it comes to this i will let let me give you a backstory real quick I saw the, the in fact, I because I scan, you know me, I mean, all all day, every day, I'm looking at YouTube videos, looking at YouTube videos, and looking at 
uh, anything in the flat earth community. I just type in flat earth nonstop, you know, filter by everything. And I saw the MGTV video when it first came out. And honestly, look, I get at least two hit pieces on me a month since the middle of 2015. Every month, it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, I have been a lot of things. I have been a deadbeat dad from Philadelphia, supposedly with video, and the guy's name was Mark Sargent. I have been a military instructor. I have been a drone pilot. I have been a whole bunch of things, in, interesting stuff. But the drone pilot actually was one of my favorites, to be honest. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, it didn't, it didn't really do much for me. It's like, yeah, I, I mean, I get it. It's, it's, it's kind of a big leap, big connect the dot, you know, especially with the dates. But it's like, all right, oh, yeah, you can run with that. And I didn't think much of it until ODD decided he was going to use that as his vehicle to escape the conference to leave it. it I, I could tell right away, he, you know, by his comments, he did not want to be there at the conference. He's, and there's no way a man with 100,000 subs after his channel had been destroyed more than once uh, at a big internet presence is going to let me chase him off. There's no way in a million years. But he puts his stamp on there. And that that's what everyone turned around and looked at. So he, he throws in there, he goes, he goes, that's it. That's all I need to see. I'm leaving the conference. That's, you know, what? <laughs> you know, we're three weeks out in the conference. He's literally the first speaker in the conference. And because of that, all his subs and a whole bunch of other people turned around and gave that video a whole second look. And he basically empowered it. The long and the short is this. When I... Okay, the MarkSargent.com thing. This is I, I give you the the step by step on how that happened. I get calls all the time from people that want to do stuff, and sometimes they ask permission, sometimes they don't, sometimes they ask forgiveness after the fact. These guys out of San Diego. In fact, it's really one guy I was talking to. His name was Joe Real, R E I H L. That he doesn't go by um, uh, Ralph. He goes by his middle name, Joe. Like my dad goes by. Ken, his middle name, his first name is actually George. And he, he goes, hey, we'd, we'd like to do MarkSargent.com. Would you mind letting us do that for you? And I was like, yeah, sure. Do I need to do anything? You know me, I'm, I'm busy. It's like, do I have to do anything? And he goes, no, no, no. Just give us links to, from the YouTube stuff. Give us permission. We'll buy the, uh, the domain and you know, we'll split the money with you. And it's like, whatever money we make. It's like, fine, that, that sounds great, wonderful. And I had nothing to do with web design. I literally, you know, they bought the domain, did all that stuff. And that was literally in the beginning of 2016. And I was under, it, under some obligation to them that, you know, I, I basically promised, I said, look, I will help you. I'll make sure I, I, I deliver as much content as I can and send you the links on a regular basis for about the next year. And that ran out in the beginning of 2017, you know, April, March, April, something like that. And that was it. And, and it was just kind of like, they didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into it. And I knew that. So it was like, by the time we got to April, it was just, we decided to part ways and, and do whatever. But the domain itself, MarkSargent.com, they hadn't even bought. In fact, I, if I'm not mistaken, they paid way more than they should have for it because they waited all the way until like, I think 2016 before they actually bought it. The domain name itself has changed hands a whole bunch of times over the years. Um, I think it was first created in 2000. Remember, I'm not the only Mark Sargent in the book. And I know I'm kind of rambling. I don't know how long you want me to go on this, but I figured let me run it. If I had to repeat it in other phone calls, that's fine. But I'm not the only Mark Sargent in the book. The most famous, uh, at least until the Flat Earth thing came out, was an Australian rugby player, exactly spelled the same way. Uh, there is a doctor on the East Coast spelled it the same way, a chef. And, you know, if you if you think you're going to use your name to try to be part of the branding, you're, you're going to want to buy it. I honestly never, ever thought of buying it myself, which is why I didn't. And they didn't either. Uh, as, as one other example is I didn't even buy flatearthclues.com. But if you go to flatearthclues.com, it's there. Somebody bought it and they're domain squatting it in case I want it down the road, and which I'm sure they will charge me quite a bit of money or whoever it is, quite a bit of money to, to get it. And that was it. So if anyone wants to go back into, and I know this is more for webmasters and people that do, that build websites, but look at the history on this thing. It goes, I mean, literally goes back to 2000. I had nothing to do with it back then. I still don't have anything to do with it. It's literally a company in San Diego who bought it in 2016 and put my stuff on it 
And that was it. And they did the same thing with the apps. Uh, they, uh, they decided that they said, Hey, we'd like to do an app thing. It's like, okay, fine. You know, I literally had nothing to do with the app design. And, uh, they did the same thing for, for Patricia steer. And, but when you look back on the app dates, they, you, you see, and this is really, really basic computer stuff, guys. You really got to do your own homework on this. If you look at like, a, I, I go to a document on my desktop, right? I right click on it in windows. I go to properties. I go to details, date created, date modified. The date created never changes because it's always the, you know, the original date created. So when the app was created, that was when the template was created and they created all their templates back in 2010 and they just kept reusing them, you know, for whatever they had to, when they finally used mine, it was the end of 2015, beginning of 2016. Same thing with Patricia's. The original template was built in 2010. So connecting the dots and making it seem like it's a huge nefarious plot where I have been a part of an advanced government guard working on flat earth literally since 2010 I, that's a bit of a stretch even for me. So, sorry, that's my that's my yeah. little rant on it. No, no. well, well, thanks, Mark. Um, I mean, I think it's a little bit laughable, too, that how, like, just people in the Flat Earth community are so um, paranoid about, like, just well, every, everyone. I, do, I don't... kind of breaking apart the community, unfortunately. Well, I, I mean, gotta remember the I'm conspir- not like that, but uh, everyone's just so distrustful of each other. The, the conspiracy crowd, and I, I can't come down on people too hard for this. I can't, because look, I'm one of them. The, the conspiracy crowd is trigger happy. Always has been, always will be. Uh, you know, this is how, and you gotta be careful because look, this is how witches got burned a couple hundred years ago. All it takes is a little momentum. The next thing you know, let's get, let's like, pile up the wood in town square. So when it, when it came to this, like, I, I completely understand. I, and I am a connect the dots type of guy, but this is a bit of a stretch. So like, but it's fine. Yeah, they can think what they want. There's nothing else to look at. They can they can dig all they want. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Joe Real, if I'm not mistaken, crossing my fingers it happens, uh, may actually be on Patricia Patricia's show tomorrow on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes on video. At least it better be on video. But yeah, he lives in San Diego. He's a real guy. You guys can look him up. He's been there his entire life doing this stuff. So it's not me. So I I that that's the second part of the jump. Away. I don't even understand. It's like, well, this Joe Real guy, he owns the domain. Therefore, Mark Sargent must be Joe Real. I was like, okay, the editor of my book, her name is Lisa Newton. She's an East Indian woman living in London. Am I now an East Indian woman living in London? No. So why are you making the other leap? You haven't, you haven't seen her either. And technically, I've never talked to her and we've never been seen in the same place. Could we be the same person? Am I part of the East Indian gay mafia? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, sorry, man. I and I hate to. I I, I probably kept you too long. Any any other things you want to throw at me? No, uh, working on a Neil deGrasse Tyson impression. So, oh, that would be so uh, sweet. Soon. That'd be nice. I love your impressions, by the way. I I I was kind of hoping one of these days that you would actually be, unless I missed it, that, that you would be Donald Trump and be interviewed by uh, Patricia. Did, did you did you do that yet? No. I didn't do. That. I did. I did one with Jaronism. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I think your Trump. I think your Trump is is pretty much there. Uh, I'm not kidding you. I, I like it. It's I like fantastic, it. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> believe me. Okay, I've watched a lot of flat Earth videos, and flat Earth clues was like one of the best. Believe me. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for doing that. Seriously, I mean Baldwin may have the the size. I mean, because you're a pretty thin guy, but uh, you you've got the the inflection down. So it's great stuff. Anyway, man, I've got a whole list of people waiting to throw rocks at me, so i got to pick them up. All right. Thanks, Mark. Have a great night. All right. You too. Bye-bye. All right. That was the first one. Let's pick up... Uh, we still got time for the break. we got eight minutes till the break. Let's do 760, 760 area code. Ready? Do do 760, you're on hey. live with Strange World. What's going on? Mark, how are you? Hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? It's Rob. Hey, how are you, man? I'm, I'm doing fine. How are things? So what's going on? Is your, uh, a lot of people emailing you today? They want to know everything that's going on with the new PSYOP? Um, yeah, 
I mean, it's not so bad, but but you know how how it can be with blood in the water. What was interesting was I actually got voicemails. That was a first, where where people were actually like Lord Stephen Christ, one of his one of his minions, <laughs> actually left me a, a voicemail and other people. Nothing nothing too hateful or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, there's people asking questions, which is fine. I don't mind. So you know, just all all in a day's okay, work. So I, you know, you know what I. I... Okay, so uh, the, the Megatron is it Megatron or Metatron? It's Metatron, right? <laughs> no, no, not not Megatron. No, that's Transformers. Uh, no, it's Metatron. Yeah, which Metatron. Part of the Book of Enoch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but the the publicly traded company, just for your listeners, is trading at point zero zero one cents a share. Just if everyone wants to look that up, by the way. Yeah. And if your guy, uh, Robert Real, is it Rob Real or Joe Real? It's Joe? it's it's Joe. Right? Yeah. And and did, did they did the did those guys create your app? Did did he make your app? Yeah, yeah. He made he made everything. He made it all. Yep. And so, was he like? Did he just reach out to you because is he also is it true that he's also a Hollywood guy that does the movies and no. is that a true bio on his if you look up the bio or is that like a like a what kind of it's, bio is that it's it's a bit inflated um, and I, I don't I don't want to speak ill of the man I don't I mean but I've talked to enough Hollywood yeah. pro, Hollywood producers over the years that look they tend to exaggerate things and. This, you know, and, and remember, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to push his company. So if like, like resumes, look, we all our resumes all seem a little more polished than they probably should be. And in his case, he's made his resume, his resume is a little more polished. He is lots of producers will drop names and say that they're connected to Hollywood in, in a bunch of different ways. I don't think it's that that. No, no. In his case, no. Okay. Okay, well, speak, well, then speaking of resumes, talk about you. Let's just, I got a couple of questions about your resume. You sure. know, there was that article that I, saw, I caught on the internet. It was, you know, it was done by the South Whidbey Island News or whatever, where they interviewed your mom. Yep. And she was a teacher or whatever. Yep. It said in, it said in that article, which I was shocked to see that because I don't remember hearing about that. I only did a little research today because of what was happening with you and all the stuff that was happening with you. But yep. my question is, it said in there that you were the president of your senior class. Is that right? It's true. President, president of my class, uh, 1985. True. So I've got my aunt, the clippings in the newspaper to prove it. All right. Yeah. And and uh, and, okay. and F, FBLA well, president either. that year, and I think that was really it. And got an award for basketball. Yeah, well, you went to state. So, what what what, what position did you play? Uh, power forward, and which was which was disconcerting to me because I graduated early. So, the last game I ever played, my last game, I was 16 years old, and I always regretted that. It was like, man, I, I tried to hold myself back a year, try to go back into my normal grade. I should have graduated class of '86, but yeah, my crowning achievement, yeah, was in state. I had a double double in the uh, second to the last game of the tournament. And I was like, I was pretty proud of that, you know, being white and everything. I don't know. Well, hey, man, you sound pretty legit to me. So uh, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what to say. I, <laughs> I, I think, unfortunately, there's some, there's some shenanigans going on with the, inter, like with the way they screenshot things and how they can show those two Megatron, our Metatron um, app videos where they show where they started on that 2010 so you know well yeah i mean again luck, the, man you got to go to your conference in two weeks yeah it'll it'll be fine and again the 2010 look it's it's not the information was perfectly fine the app template was created in 2010 but so were a whole bunch of apps that they yeah. they did back at that i mean that was it's the shell Everything else wasn't created until 2015. So, like, all right. But I, I know people want to make leaps. That's fine. And I, 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 yeah. So. And, well, it is odd. I mean, it is odd that the guy's website, that MGTV, his, his website goes down right after he posts that 10-minute little thing. I mean, what, what, what are your thoughts that on that? I have, really on, honestly, I, 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 I
if any, everybody that knows me knows that I barely even read comments, let alone strike anybody. The only time I've ever taken uh, YouTube action ever, ever, ever was when the guy, uh, it was Cesar, as a matter of fact, you can look him up. He, uh, he accused me of being a deadbeat dad in Philadelphia, where he actually posted a Mark Sargent who was in court in Philadelphia for not paying child support or whatever it was. And he's going, you know, he's putting a side by side saying, oh, yeah, this is totally Mark Sargent. And when you do that with YouTube, when you, I basically had to file a mistaken identity, he's going, look, this is not me. And they, YouTube asked for a copy of your driver's license, you know, and so that they can look at it. And then they contacted Cesar and they, and they had him pull it down. He was, he didn't, he didn't get a strike for it or anything, but no MGD. I don't know who took down MGTV. I don't do that. Uh, I generally just stay away. It's like, look, if you want to bring it, that's fine. I let the universe unfold the way that it should. So, and it normally it does. So, so you're just, so you're just, uh, so you're just some sleepy Whidbey Island flat earther, truther, yeah. uh, awakened human being on the island uh, yeah. who played, who was president of his student body, who was on the basketball team. And yeah. No, that's that's pretty much it. I'm 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 about as as a uh, guy next door as you'd ever ever want to meet, with the exception of, you know, playing video games for a living and uh, getting in trouble with explosives from time to time. But a lot of kids do. You know, like, look, I, I tell people, it's like if you're not getting in trouble in college, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> all right, brother. You have right. a good night, man. Thanks Thank for you. The call, or thanks I'll see for you. taking my call. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we have time? We got a minute. Uh, you know what? We're not going to pick up the call before we go to the break. The next call I'll probably pick up is going to be 802 area code, maybe followed by 202 and oh, and maybe Alhambra, California, if they stay on the line long enough. Um, phone number to call in. And thank you guys for calling in so far is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. Or 213-233-3998. And anyone that's calling the mobile phone, I, that, that, that phone number does not get piped through to the show. You, you don't use that number to call the show. So you got to call 720-897-6111. It's in the description of, of, the, of every video I make. I put that phone. Wait, wait, isn't that the, isn't that the phone number I put in there? Or is it 36631? Oh, crap. Hey, somebody forward that number to those guys. My phone just, my, my cell phone's blowing up. I should probably change that. Real people, real radio. Wherever you are, make it TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part two of four. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, and it's a call-in show. And there is no short of call-in people tonight. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to mix it up real quick because I promised this person, if I saw her number, I would pick her up. And I think, I hope, geez, I hope it is her. 661 area code. You ready for this? 661 area code. You are on with Strange World, me. Just, just you and me. So don't be nervous if it's your first time. Hey, six six one, you listening? Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm uh, sorry, I had you on speaker because I was on home for a little bit. That's okay. Mm -hmm. How are you? It's Lucy. Hey, is this the Lucy Lemons from California? Yes, Lucy Lemons with three yeses from uh, Palmdale, California. I was at you meet up in Pasadena. Right on. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was a blast seeing you, and and it was great meeting. Oh, geez, what did we have? We had 
what, between 50 and 60 people? That was fantastic. Oh, yes. It, it was, there was way more people than I expected. I didn't think it was going to be that many people yeah. there, but it was awesome meeting a lot of different um, individuals that have a very open mindset. I loved yeah. it. I agree. It was it was a totally positive experience. My feet were killing me by the time I got back to the hotel room. My voice was shot for the entire next day, but I loved it. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for anything. Me too. I was there rooting you on. You know, I was there front row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did, were... did you get a chance to see? Did you get a chance to see the video that I put on YouTube? I, I was streaming it live. I did. I did, but as you know, and, and I tried to watch as much as I could, but I hate myself on camera, which is why when Patricia forces me to be on camera, I was like, oh, God, because, again, you know, DreamWorks is going to eventually sue me for trying to impersonate Shrek on a daily basis. So, but thank you so much for doing that. It was, <laughs> it was, it was great, and I, by the time it was over, I didn't feel self-conscious at all because you basically filmed the entire thing. Well, there's nothing to be uh, self-conscious about, and I personally want to thank you for everything that you do for us, for the Flatters uh, community. I am. There's not a lot of people that put themselves out like that. Like me, kind of like I'm kind of putting myself out there and get a little bit like, ah, but you know, Um, it's something I'm passionate about, so I feel like I'm in the right track. You're braver than I am because you know what you do that's way better than me. You sing. And I, I, when I've, I've watched your videos and oh. <laughs> when all of a sudden you break into song and I caught that one that wasn't even a flat earth thing. You were, you were singing at a restaurant. I don't know the name of the song. Holy smokes. It was like a karaoke night. Oh, it was, it was great. You, you oh, have a, yeah, yeah. Thank you, you have a, you have a very, very <laughs> I strong. I just do that for fun. I had taken some singing classes in college. Oh, that's, been... that's yeah, it, it well, it shows because you have a a very strong and and passionate voice. It's fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that. I You're appreciate welcome. that, Mark. Um, I'm excited to be I'm excited to be on the show right now. But I wanted to ask you four questions that I think are very important. Go um, go. What do you got? And what do you got? Um, I thought they were very interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell them to you, and then we can go over them one by one. Okay. Okay. The first one is, what are your views about the perfectibility of humankind? The, the first second one, okay. how do you determine fact? Okay. How do you determine fact? Okay. Number three, what mode of justice should determine public policy? Ooh. What mode of justice should determine public policy? <laughs> okay. And the last one is, what are your views on cosmology? Wow. Okay. Um, I don't just, you know, we're going to have to do this pretty quick because I've got like eight calls stacked yes, up, but yes, I just all right. So the, the first, on the first one, is, the first one's probably going to be the toughest for me. Read that one one more what time. What are your views about the perfectibility? What are your views about the perfectibility of humankind? The perce- the perceptibility? The perfectibility of man. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 humankind. It's not going to happen in this dimension. Uh, human beings are not going to uh, hit perfection without a guiding force from the outside. Never going to happen on their own. Uh, human beings, especially men, sorry, I hate to pick on you men out there, uh, are, are flawed <laughs> to the freaking core. Men cover all the wars. Um, if people wonder why I back women more than I do men and in just about every circumstance. It's for the same reason why most of the bank tellers in the world are women. It's because they commit far less crimes. It's just it's plain, plain simple as that. So the, the perfection of humankind has to come from the outside. Next question. Thank you. And I just want to add to that. Uh, thank you for saying that comment about women. I think that we carry in our heart love, peace, and light. Thank you for that. Oh, no worries. Um, how do you determine facts? Fact. Uh, for me, it, scientific method. I'm, I've never been against science, and that is you come up with a theory, you test it as best you can, you adjust your testing techniques, observe, you know, go over the results again, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until you have something like, I don't know, the boiling temperature of water at sea level. And do what you can. Now, of course, not everything could be proven. And, you know, some of the theories are going to remain theories until you have the tools to make them fact. But for me, that's what it is. And you got to prove it from the other side, too. I will look at something else. Somebody else says, oh, yeah, this has been known as a fact for a long time. 
And yeah, also the peanut gallery says that's the guy that's messaging me on Skype. He goes, oh, a fact comes from the peanut gallery. It's like, no, no. I will also question people that, that say, oh, this has been a fact for hundreds of years. Really? Because I have some doubts about that. So you might want to bring up the old tests. And, and I, I, I believe in retesting some of the old stuff or, or, or taking a due perspective on the old stuff. How's that? That's my, my answer. Right. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Um, number three was what mode of justice should determine public policy? I don't even know if I'm qualified to answer that. Um, mode of justice <laughs> should determine public policy. Honestly, I don't know because the, the stuff that we have in place now seems so unbelievably flawed until we have the ability, and this is me just throwing this out there until we have the genuine ability to look into men's hearts look into men's intentions because that's really what it comes down to. I mean, lots of court cases, you know, it's not whether you did, you know, not just if you I'm, did it or I'm not. I'm all about intention. Yeah. So until, about until, until we can, uh, until we can determine it until, and uh, I'll, I'll go way out there until we have the ability to employ psychics, which is in some books and in the, uh, in the judicial system, we're, it's never going to be, it's never going to be what it could be. Uh, because right now, it, yeah, it seems like it's the best system we have, but it, it's, it's, it's awful. So that's, that's my thing. Employ psychics and make sure they're, they're bona fide. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, the last one is what are your views on cosmology? My views on cosmology are now what they have always been, mm -hmm. which is we live in a enclosed system that is intimate and designed just for us. The stars and the planets are, and the sun and the moon are just different sized lights in the sky. And everything on the ground is just this wonderful park, you know, this wonderful stage that we've all been set upon to do whatever it is we're here to do. And some things are supposed to be, remain a mystery. And that won't be revealed to us until the end. So you know, that's... That's me. All the world's a stage, and you're on it. How's that? Uh oh, Lucy, Lucy, did you hit mute? Oh boy, wait, is she even on the screen anymore? Oh no, I think she dropped. Oh okay, hang on. Oh crap, she dropped again. I right, I will pick up a call, but I but I, I gotta wait to see if she comes back. So hang, hang on one sec. Uh, I think she was listening to me and I was getting all poetic and then she, she couldn't reconnect. Oh no. You know what? I should probably jump to another caller instead of waiting for her at this point. All right, Lucy, if you're listening, I will pick you up next. I swear to God. Okay. But I, I'm going to uh, pick up someone in the meantime. I'm going to pick up, uh, and I'm sorry for everybody that's been waiting for so long. Let's pick up 802 area code. Here we go. 802 area code. Are you there? You're on with strange world right now. Hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, my name is Brendan, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller, and I'm wicked nervous. Oh, don't be. It's just you and me and, I don't know, millions of people. No, no, it's just you and me. Just Thanks. pretend that it's just you and me. Actually, that's what they tell the uh, the porn stars. They say, just focus on each other's eyes. Don't worry about all us and the cameras and everybody else. So it's just, just talk to me like we're, you're just calling me out of the blue. What's up? <laughs> Well, it well, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's okay. Um, you often equate uh, waking up to flat earth with being adopted. Right. And That's about as close as I, I could. I have a personal story. Okay. Yeah. And and that's what made me, me like ready to accept it. And I can't talk to anyone about it because, I don't know, it's weird to talk to somebody in person about it. They don't get it. And uh, so what did you in the, in the beginning, you know, that you've got to remember empathy. So when, when you, how did well, you, that, how did you find out about it? About my adoption or flat earth? No, 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 no flat earth. I know. I, and I don't want to pry into the adoption thing unless, unless you, you really want to tell oh, me. Oh, it started with, uh, it started with Paul was dead and I, I was a Beatles fanatic from like way back and. I was, you know, all into that, and I just thought it was just uh, a way to sell records. And in hindsight, yeah, I guess it was. But gotcha. So it made sense to me. And then because recommended feeds and YouTube, I stumbled upon you and the whole thing. 
Got it. This is just May this year, and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. No, but I mean, you. But it still took you a while. I mean, when you looked at the first videos, you're probably going, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, it, it, you couldn't have snapped like instantly. Mm, no, it was it. Come on, be honest. Mm. A couple days. A couple oh, months. I sat on it for a month. Oh, we'll see. There you go. Yeah. And so, yeah, you should be you should be nervous if you're trying to tell people this, because uh, like me, it's like you people. That is the the biggest flaw in the in the flat earth community is that when they go to somebody else that's never heard it, there's some people that's like, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. It took me a month, but I can totally get this guy in two hours or an hour or a cup of coffee. I'm going, no, you can't. I go, even if you have the best argument in the world, you got to remember, they're going to gloss over right away. They're going to look at you like you have a giant bug on your face. They're never ever, they're not going to, they're not going to jump on it. Anyway, sorry. What, what else? What, what, go on. Well, no, it's then I started to tell, uh, you know, a couple friends, my boyfriend and my sister. And it's that, like you said, glazed over look and, and it's, and they didn't know where, where to go with it. Right. And I'm watching all the videos and what, listening to your shows and everybody else. And, and I thought there's nobody I can talk to in person about this. Right. And, and I see all these flat earth meetups. I'm like, okay, Vermont. And I can't find one in Vermont. Eh, the Northeast and, is tricky. Go ahead. Well, and so I, I, this is silly. I went to Craigslist and I went to community groups and I said, flat earth, I kept it simple. I got four emails in a month and I went back and forth and they were just as lost as I was. And so that's going nowhere. Do I really want to be like you and not you, but I mean, like, just be like, start something and invest in it and maintain it. And when I'm not even, I'm still trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Right. So right. I had to step back, shut up and here I am. So nice. Nice. I hear you. Hey, um, is that weird? No, no, not weird at all. And for your first call, it's great. And normally I would, I would love to spend a lot more time with you, but as you know, there's been a few weird things happening in the Flyers community lately. And there's a pile of people that are, they're lined up behind you. But as far as, uh, but the Craigslist is not a crazy idea at all. Um, but if you want to do something, let, let me end the call with your, your, your part of this with, with, with my take, which is if you want to do something up Thank in you. Vermont, you let me know. All you have to do is pick a restaurant or pick a, you know, a whatever it is, up wherever you have it in Vermont. Uh, it's one of the few states I've not been to. And uh, I will make a promo for you and put it on my channel. And all you have to do is give me your contact info, you know, and, and it's like, yeah, for more information, contact you. And that'll be it. And I mean, every meetup, I think, has 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 always has been, has been somewhat solid. I think there was one in Florida that didn't do too well. But uh, the rest of the major cities, they were great. Uh, so don't don't be don't be shy about being the first man out there. No, um, I appreciate your time. And um, I was working on an email to send to you for okay. a while now. So I'll fire that I'll fire that off and explain the backstory. OK. And uh, and I'll let you get on to other people. And thank you cool. for your time again. Oh, no worries. And, and mention okay. in the email that you talked to me on the show. OK. All right. Will do. OK. Thanks, man. You have a good night. You too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's grab, if she's still around for at least another minute, uh, Lucy. Lucy, are you back? I got you for, I'll, I'll get, you got 60 seconds. What, what, because uh, unfortunately the calls are backing up. Are you still there? Is this mine? <laughs> You're killing Hello? me. Of course it's me. You're calling into the station. Hi, Mark. It's Lucy. I know. Well, it's, I, um, know I just wanted to tell you something. Okay, I want right. to start some. I want to start some flatter meetups in Palmdale, and I was wondering if you could help me with that because I want to reach out to my blood over intent community and the flatter community sure. around my area in the Southern California. Sure, of course I would. I mean, I I did the promo for Pasadena and Santa Monica and Rancho Cucamonga, so I would absolutely do one for Palmdale. Just shoot me an email and let me know. You know, pick a date, pick a place, and it'll be a great success. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll let you know. I'll send you um, an email, Lucy Lemons. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate that you answered these four questions. They were important to me, and they meant something. Thank you. I, I don't know. I, and thank you for asking the questions. I, they were probably the most unusual ones I've had all year, but uh, hopefully, hopefully they did something for you. Thank you so much, Mark. You have a wonderful night. All right, you I'll too. I'll see you soon at the conference next month. Yeah, yeah, uh, two, and, two and a half weeks. See you then. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, Lucy, for that. Let's pick up, oh, I, I promised Washington, D.C. I would grab this one next. Let's grab Washington, D.C. 202 area code. Are you there? Because you were on live with Strange World. What do you got? Mark. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Oh, this is Tippy Long stalking on the earth, on the flat earth. I'm like, uh, I called you about maybe twice. Okay. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if you can remember me when I first wrote you. It was back in, well, 2015 December. To me, waking up to flat earth. Yeah. Was like me waking up in the morning. No, waking up at night, going to the to the kitchen, and my yeah. parents were talking about. Well, somebody got to tell her she's adopted. <laughs> you know, it's like it was like me finding out that I was adopted. And then I called you again yeah. about the movie uh, Hidden Figures. I okay. said, you know, because okay. I'm a sister. I'm a black I, lady. I, okay. I said, do you, you remember? Uh, but I get the, the movie Hidden off. Figures is about. Oh, no, I, I remember the movie. That, I remember the movie, but. Right. You know, uh, it wasn't because of them, they figure out the equation for people to go out in space. Right. Yeah. All right. So therefore, so I go into flat earth today. What did you do to ODD? <laughs> what the heck happened? You probably already talked about. I did. What the I, hell I, happened? I, I did. What did friends say he ain't going to the conference no more? What happened? <sighs> Oh, that is the best way of, and Pina Gallery remembers you, by the way. Uh, I that, that is the best way of putting it. What, what the hell did you do? I don't like him. I don't like Patricia Steele. They ages. They woo-woo. They what-what. Yeah, yeah, You know what? Yeah. Ever um, since you talked about HBO and everybody's going to be following you, now he mad? Because ain't nobody following him? I, I, you know, I don't. Okay, first off, I, I have never had a quarrel with ODD ever in a million years. You know, we, we have our own circles. We do our own thing. So when he came out of the blue and said that I never trusted them and they must be agents and all that, I read it as something else. I read it as, okay, he wanted to get out of the conference for a whole other reason, and he was just using me as an excuse and and Patricia. So I was like, I, so whatever the reason, you know, maybe he didn't have the money. Maybe he didn't like his presentation. Maybe the whole thing was just too big for him. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, the, it, it, I mean, like, for example, there was another guy. Uh, there's a there's a European version of this over going to happen in London. And one of the guys who was invited was a guy from Scotland named Dell. And he turned it down. But he turned it down up front and he said, you know, it's just really not my thing. I like doing my own stand in my own wheelhouse. You know, maybe this was outside of ODD's wheelhouse. I don't know. But if, yeah, the backlash that he created. I so, so, Sorry, the short answer to your question. I didn't do anything to the guy. Is like we've we've I'm, been, I'm, in fact, I'm trying to go back to Durham videos. What in the hell did we Mark do to this man? No, no, no. I didn't do anything. Look, it's sometimes people look trust is a tough thing to to do in the conspiracy world it is i mean the whole point of a conspiracy is you're suspicious about things and so and and people say well you shouldn't joke so much about you know being an agent or doing this and that i'm going come on flat earth is a is a happy wonderful positive thing and i'm i'm trying to to do a lighthearted take on it is i i don't like dark dark conspiracies because it tends to eat people up and but, but people, you know, they're they're really, really trigger happy. They're really, really twitchy. And so if somebody's like, hey, I found some dirt, even if it's not real dirt. I mean, you know full well what the tabloids do. I mean, you know, the but Mark, you and Patricia, you guys have been so real. So just, you don't even what you don't even what text. 
No, know, I don't. I you don't. Put your I don't. Phone I, number I, out there. I don't. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. are I, so down to earth and so transparent. All well, real fat earthers should know. It, but but you it's know, not that it's you not, guys are real. Well, thank you, and I appreciate that. But you got to remember, flat earthers started out as conspiracy people. Uh, I'll give you a quick example um, before we go to break because we I've got five minutes. And I was hoping to pick another call, but I'll talk to you for a little bit longer. Which is this: um, yeah. if you remember, you remember the car company Saturn. You remember those those guys? They yes. They had the, the, their whole big thing was it was a no haggle lot, meaning the price on the car was the price on the car. Only the problem was when they hired salespeople, these salespeople came from other dealerships, and all the other dealerships were all the about haggling and wheeling and dealing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So all these deal, mm -hmm. all these guys got here to this lot, and they were they were like handicapped. Because they weren't supposed is like, look, you're not gonna haggle. It's a Saturn lot. It's like, what do you mean? I've been trained to haggle my whole life. That's sort of like what you're asking conspiracy people to do. It's like, yeah, flat Earth is a completely different animal. It is not the usual conspiracy, but at the same time, you're asking conspiracy guys to not do it. And and a lot of conspiracy guys, they like dark, dark things. It's like I like Batman movies and dressing in black. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't like light bulbs. I like a really, really dark room and 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 stuff like that. And I like talking whispered tones. And it's tough to ask those people to be more, I don't know, alive <laughs> and like everybody else. Right, and right. So, so yeah, right. we're different. We're absolutely different. Patricia and I, the show we do is completely different from everybody else. And we catch hell for it. And so if they have any chance to tear us down, they will. And I don't blame them. I, I I'm not gonna I'm not you know I'm not in no position to judge. Right. Uh, I would. But do this, this is gonna be my last thing. Okay. Uh, what a you got? lot of people used to ask you, why don't anybody shut you down? Why don't the CIA or FBI or whatever shut you down? Or NASA shut you down? Right. I would never have thought that a fellow flat earther would try to put a wrench in the monkey works. Well, never in a million years. Eh, never in I, a million years I would think another flat earther would try to shut you down. Eh, eh, and my last thought, yeah. I have a clause that flat earther said that she wouldn't be Marvel to be her daddy. Be her, be her what? <laughs> I have a closet flat earther. Who yeah. D Marvel to be her baby's daddy. Oh, for get in line. I almost want him to be my baby's daddy. D Marvel's a good looking man. <laughs> D. D. Marvel is a good-looking man. I, let's face it. I, in fact, I have told people, I was like, "Look, if you want camera ready, you want a guy to put on camera, that's the guy right there." I mean, and he doesn't even take his shirt off. Have you seen him with his shirt off? I mean, get me some no, duct tape. No comment. Get me some duct tape because that man is ripped. All right. <laughs> he, go to commercial, Mark. Oh yeah, we got to go to commercials anyway. Uh, thank you for calling, and uh, feel free to call. You're in next so time. welcome. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. All right. Keep it flat. Okay. Keep bye -bye. it flat. Bye bye. All right. Let's jump real quick, uh, and then we'll maybe we'll pick him up for over the break. Uh, this is going to be Alhambra, California. Uh, are you there? Six two six area code. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Hey, man, it's going pretty good. You got two minutes to the break, and if you want, we can we can talk a little bit after the break as well. But you'll have to hang on through the commercials. So what uh, what's on your mind? That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Dude. I can hang on. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, dude. Uh, first off, props on how you're handling this, man. Because <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you got a whole bunch of hell over this. Uh. Oh, yeah. And dude, it even to be dead honest, man, it even had me sit like stepping back and questioning things, dude. Like, oh, I know, re examine stuff, you know. I let me, but then let at me, the same time, well, you know, me, you've spent time with me, you've we've actually spent actual physical that's time exactly together. Exactly what I was gonna say, dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I, I, dude, I honestly kind of feel like a jerk when you came here to California. Like, dude, I was adding up the hours I was with you, and I was like, dude. The only time he wasn't with me was when I dropped him off at his hotel. <laughs> That's okay. I had I had a lot of fun. Let me let me let me make the statement before we go to break here, and then we'll we'll, we'll come back and we'll talk about this. Which is it? it but yeah, I, it hadn't you spent time with me, maybe you would have gone along with the the videos that were being made. But I will put the challenge out there to anyone who is listening. Okay, find me. And I know this is going to be difficult because not everybody designs web pages or is a webmaster. Find me a webmaster who will watch the MGTV video and go along with what he's saying, and then maybe I'll talk to Hell, I'll interview the guy. 
but webmasters won't because they know how domains work. They know about creation dates and modification dates and all that stuff. Oh, crap. There's the music. We got to get a break. So anyway, hang with me for uh, three minutes. We'll bring you right back, okay? No problem. Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four, and let's just get right back into it, except the peanut gallery says, announce the numbers again like I have to. The phone calls are just like seven or eight deep at this point. 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. 720-897-6111-213-233-3998. All right. Uh, we had Alejandra. Let's get with him for at least a few more minutes. Then I swear to God, we will keep moving down the list. We'll do uh, 661 after this one. Josh, you still there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's on your mind, so, my man? Uh, real quick, talking about your visit over here. I just want to let everyone know, dude, it was really cool meeting you. And anyone who has any doubts really just needs to spend some time with you because you're a really cool dude. But <laughs> man, I love you, but you're too much of a dork to be a to be an agent, man. Uh... They need to realize that. Okay, check this out. <laughs> Great. When we got to the P- hotel, please do tell them about and I my... dropped you off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to let you know that I noticed you pushed the wrong thing in the elevator. I noticed <laughs> you pushed the number and not the button on the elevator. <laughs> when we got to the hotel. Good point. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And I was actually <laughs> pushing something. I was pushing something that wasn't a button. Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> Alice, would you like to embarrass well, me? I'm just saying, dude, come on. Like, I okay, know. Like, no, no, seriously, you're not the first. I, saw that, I was like, dude. Anybody who says you're an agent is just talking out of their butt. Okay. Just, okay. But, uh, and then on top of that, real quick, I oh want to thank you because you mentioning or this whole thing happening, actually, yeah. I think I'm going to invest in this company. Oh, uh, and I find it kind of interesting because I did a little bit digging on the website. Yeah. And I wonder if ODD did so much digging on this website to find crap about you. I wonder why he didn't mention anything about this because it's really easy to find and it's uh, it's Metatron. It's uh, the traded uh, symbol is the dollar sign M R N J, yeah. and it says app downloads up 232 percent CBD distribution deal and direct investment available for marijuana green rush. That sounds that sounds like that's right up your alley. So yeah, <laughs> they are they are getting into well actually it's yeah it's CBD CBD is completely a hundred percent legal in America. I did not know that. Uh, yes. Huh. Uh, it is it it does not get you high at all. Uh, it does not. Yeah, it's it's the medical benefit of smoking. Oh, yeah. it's the part that heals you. Wow, cool. And so they have it concentrated with stuff now. And this company is 
getting at getting in at the ground floor of that before it's like going to become legal throughout. Cool. Uh, hey, the I, again, I'll, all I know is they're a penny stock, and if they do great, hey, wonderful. I'm not going to see a dime of it because you know it's not well, my. I just find it interesting that that ODD, who also is a big proponent of the use of cannabis, yeah, I uh, wouldn't mention something like this about this company. All he talked about was how they're trying to mine your information. Right. Yeah. I, I uh, so I found that kind of interesting. That is interesting. That's all. Oh well, thank you. And thank you for calling but, me a dork. But also, <laughs> dude, it's completely out of love. You know that. I know. I know. Jared, but, Jared uh, called me a dork too. Dude, I got some great news. So what? my what? best friend growing up, who actually moved to Texas a couple years ago, yeah, I was talking to him a couple months ago. And I brought up the fact that we might be living on a flat earth. Yeah. And uh, he didn't completely discount me because he knows I'm not an idiot. And he's right. known me my whole life. And uh, so he actually started looking into it. And uh, I got a text message yesterday, dude. Really? From him. And bro, it straight up is like, it's straight like your line. Like it came from you. Nice. Uh started off with three messages real quick and the first one was a link to a youtube video that turned out to be a nasa iss hoax video nice the next message it says liars <laughs> and then it says the more i look for proof that the earth is a sphere the more i find that it is not <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's great and then it turns out that his brother now is also a flat earther after he talked to his brother. Cool stuff. Cool beans. So, cool, interesting. Cool, 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 cool. Dude, it travels. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. This, thing, this thing's got legs. It's with, not definitely not going anywhere. With all of our tech, uh, still the best advertisement is word of mouth. Yep. Uh, totally hear you. But yeah, dude, I... Uh, I'll get off right now. Uh, okay. I just want to let you know, hey, dude, everything's going pretty cool with the channel, though, too. I have, like, over 100 subscribers now. Excellent. Uh, do it. Do dude, a, one do of my it. videos almost has, like, 3,000 views. Awesome. Do a plug before you go. What's the name of the channel? Uh, Well, if you just Google Uber Flat Earth, Uber my Flat videos Earth. are the only ones that really pop up. Uber uh, Flat Earth. Dave's Flat pop up Earth. a little bit, cool. but he doesn't have as many i don't think i don't know but yeah um, dude uh you're a trooper man i'll talk to you later bro <laughs> all right have a good one stay flat later man bye bye all right we're gonna jump right into it because we got a whole bunch of calls i gotta see if i can pump through uh 661 area code let's try that 661 area code you're in live with strange world right now what's up hi mark how's it going my name's it jose is... i'm from california hey jose what uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, so I have a couple of questions for you. Um, I wrote them down right here. One second. So, okay. Why did Ralph Bill make both your and Patricia's apps, and also register your Mark Sargent website in 2012? Got it. All right. Have you listened to the first part of the show at all? No. No, I didn't. Uh, that's okay. That's right. I'll 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 give you the, the quick summary. They didn't write everything in 2012. The company that we're talking about here, which is done by Ralph, he actually, we'll just go by his name, he goes by Joe Real, contacted me at the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, said, can I write your app for you? Free of charge, I think it'd be kind of cool. He was kind of into the flatter thing. I said, yeah, sure. And then he goes, hey, can I do one for Patricia? I said, sure, you know, you, know, you have to do whatever it is with her. And then in 2016, he said, can I do MarkSargent.com? Now, he owned the rights to it. He bought the rights. I do not own the rights to MarkSargent.com, but I, he, he needed my help. He said, hey, can I use your links from YouTube? And I said, yes. What you're looking at in 2012 is just the domain dates that were used and fallen off since the beginning of Mark Sargent. MarkSargent.com was first created in the year 2000. And it has changed hands a whole bunch of times since then. Uh, in fact, you can you can look it up. In fact, there's a, a website. Ah, oh, crap, I don't have it in front of me. You can look it up. I'll, go to Google and type in domain 
history lookup. And there's a whole bunch of sites that will show you different ways to look up domain history. And you will see that heck, not only has MarkSargent.com changed hands a whole bunch of times since 2000, but it has been dropped. I mean, like dropped off the map entirely to where uh, no one no one owned it at all. It was like, you know, property of GoDaddy or one of the main services. So he, right. I have never, never even talked to those guys before the end of 2015. So the dates that from 2012 that, that somebody else owned or they owned in bulk MarkSargent.com, but those guys had nothing to do with me at the time. And the apps, just so you know, really, I mean, again, back, those of you guys listening to this and coming in the middle, back up to the beginning of the show, because I answered it in detail as much as I could. But the apps, that is nothing different than date created, date modified. That's all it is. So when you, you take a Word document on your machine, you right click, right click on it, go to properties. It'll have a created date and a modified, modified date. The templates for all the apps those guys made were all created in 2010 and then just used it and made copies of it and then made the change. They turned one template and they turned it into whatever it is, a cooking app. And the other one they turned into my survival guide. And another one they turned into Mark Sargent. That's that's all it is. Uh, oh, great. Right. Because when I researched that, I said it was Ralph in 2012, though not in 2015. But um, anyways, well, let me ask you my final question. Then. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, why do you... Why do you say that he comes from under the earth and stars are projections? I'm sorry, the first part was heat comes from under the earth? No. Why? Sorry. That's okay. Why does heat comes from under the earth and stars are projections? I caught the second part, but I'm sorry. I, the first part is throwing me. Why does what come from? Spell it. What come from under the earth? Okay. He, you said that heat comes from under the oh, earth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, well, it's both. It's both. So what I'm saying is the sun isn't the only heat source of this world. And we know this already. I mean, the, the between the jet stream, which controls the upper atmosphere, between the underwater conveyor systems, which carry huge amounts of heat energy around the oceans, and the magma system, the sun is not the only, not the only culprit here. Uh, because remember, if it's an artificial system, then every part of it is artificial. And I know for a lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot, but quite a few people, they were kind of ticked off. They're going, you can't tell me the magma system and the volcanic system is an artificial process. And I go, why wouldn't it be? If you were powerful enough, you know, I don't know if you own any pets. If you're pow powerful to own a pet lizard in a terrarium, you know, the glass is artificial, the cage is artificial, the food and the water dish are art completely artificial. Why would anything that that lizard walk on be organic? You just don't leave some things to chance. And the biggest thing would be like, look, one super volcano and this whole thing becomes useless. A super volcano can knock the whole thing out. So, yeah, I mean, there are our volcanic systems. I'm just saying they're controlled and we have a tough time with it because we don't have that sort of technology. I mean, yeah, we can melt steel. We can melt, we can create molten rock. We just can't do it in a large scale. So we don't, or even a tiny scale, you know, for a, a terrarium type system. So we have a hard time visualizing it. And as far as the, the stars being a projection system, why not? Uh, if we live in a planetarium, if all the world is a stage, then what are you looking at? Why, why, why do they have to be anything? I mean, other than, I mean, they could be three-dimensional objects, but they're really, really, really tiny. And they could be holographic for all we know. Uh, but what we can do in a planetarium, think of what we can do now with our limited technology right now. We can, in a planetarium, create just about everything in a nighttime sky. Waxing and waning crescents, star constellations, uh, blood moons comets we can do all that stuff for a nighttime sky we can't do a daytime thing because we can't figure out how to simulate um a really bright object like the sun but that's you know that's just one leap after after that it's just one level of technology so that's why i said both those things hopefully that helps all uh, right well that's pretty much it okay hey thank you for your questions right, you. and have a nice night in california yeah and stop lying please <laughs> nice ending uh, he had to take the shot at the end, but that's okay. I don't mind. You know, as far as the show goes, I'm taking it. Let's do 904, Eric. Wait, it's 904? Wait, did I already do that one? No, I don't think I did. 904, Eric. 904, you are on live with Strange World right now. What's up, Mark? This is Bernard hey. from Castle, Florida. What's up, man? Hey, man. I'm just... 
<laughs> just hanging in there. Try to do, try to answer as many phone calls as I can. What uh, what's going on with you? Okay, like I say, like last couple months ago, like five months ago, I was looking at old episode of Star Trek. Uh huh. And as was a warning, you know, they were talking about time zone, time, you know, mislating and stuff like that. So it's just a flat Earth, which I know is a flat Earth. Yeah. And the song never set. And the song never set. So yeah. if the song never set, I mean, time technically don't. Doesn't, doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Think think of it. No, no, no. It does. The the whole clock system still works, but you have to miniaturize everything. So if the sun is really, 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 really small, I mean, even the light bulbs that we use in in some of our models in the flat Earth, even those don't do it justice. We're talking about an object that's not even fifty miles across. That is tiny on the grand scheme of things. So, and if it's a directional light source, which again, we can, we don't even have to do it in computer simulations. We can show it physically. If it's a directional light source, it's not that it's setting anywhere. It's just going off into the distance. Technically, you have to have time. You know, we're, we are in a, you know, obviously yeah. we're in a linear time place. People are born, they live, they die. The fact that I'm talking this sentence to you, time elapses while I'm talking. Mm -hmm. So there, th we do have time, and to mark that, you know, I do believe that's one of the reasons the sun and the moon were created and the stars was it's just a yes. giant, elaborate clock and calendar system. So just because it doesn't, you know, you know, we don't circle around it, doesn't mean it's any less of a of a clock system. Um, another example was somebody that said, uh, wrote me and said, "Hey, aren't you killing astrology? You know, with the whole zodiac signs and all that stuff." I go, "No." all the constellations are still up there they're just really really small so we we've just really turned it we've done what the japanese did for years and years and years we took something really yeah. no, really really big and miniaturized it to where it's now this tiny tiny you know we turned it into a smartphone basically wow i just thought of that i should trademark that anyway <laughs> But that's that's what we're talking about. So yeah, time zones still exist and time still exists. Now, I do believe outside of this place, because time dominates yeah. our lives, I do believe that time doesn't exist outside of this place. Uh, kind of sort of like a casino. If you've ever been to a casino, you know they don't hang clocks on the walls and they make sure there's yeah. no windows so nobody knows what time of day it is. That's I, I think outside of this place, time is a complete, uh, it's it's meaningless. So that's why we are constricted constricted by time here. Anyway, what else you got? And loading than that, um, like it, it's it's been so crazy. I talk to people about flat Earth, but they, they you know they look at me kind of crazy and stuff like that. Sure. But then I ask them, you know, explain the globe for me that NASA, without using any NASA videos or footage. And they there you go. That's a good one. That's a it's crazy. a good it's a good <laughs> seed to put in their heads. Uh, it's a great question, and that is, how can you prove the globe without using the word NASA? Because remember, for anyone listening out there, it's not like we knew it was a globe. You know, I'm sorry, it's not like we knew it, we just discovered it was a globe in 1972 when the first picture was taken. We knew for 25 generations before that. The question is, how did you know for sure? It's like, Because uh, all you had was a toy in your classroom. That was it. Until you had the picture, how did you really know? It's like mathematics. It's like, really? Because you're not going to be able to convince math uh, to, to most people on the street. So how did they know? It's just because they were told. It's a great, it's a great question. That's the one I would, I would go with if, if that's what's comfortable for you. Yeah, that's it, man. Thanks, cool. man. I appreciate it, man. Hey, you have a good night. All right. All right. You too. Keep it flat. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. I, I knew this one was coming. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, California. Let me guess. Andy and Ross. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I keep imagining these, these two surfer guys, you know, with a with a with yeah. some with sex wax on the table, you know, lighting up something, listening to the show. <laughs> well, we actually are pretty badass guitar players, to be quite honest with you. Shocker. <laughs> Southern California yeah, guy. So you, you got the guitar. Person, right? Right and we definitely smoke a lot of weed. That is you know, surprises no one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you want us to send you out something here pretty soon. I mean, we could do that. It's not a problem. Hey. hey but why, I'm surprised <laughs> you. Look, I'm surprised you guys missed me when I was down there. You know what? We probably I know you couldn't could... find you even if we made our way in the building. We're in that high that day. 
I'm least. getting around. We've got a couple of questions though, Mark. All right, what do you got? First off, I'm kind of curious as like, for instance, in the Bible, they basically show that, well, I mean, it's basically stated that, you know, I guess Satan would invert all the truths of God, right? Right. And my question is, is like, do you think it started at literally the Bible? Because it's really kind of odd. Some of the truths or a seemingly, seemingly truths that's come from that. I don't there know. I just is, wonder what your thoughts are on that. There is a massive, massive biblical community in the flat Earth groups. Massive. Uh, the uh, one of uh, Rob Skiba has got to be one of the biggest up there. Uh, also, Celebrate Truth, Controversy 7, Zen Garcia. But Rob Skiba made a fantastic website, and I converted him myself, personally. And his website is called testingtheglobe.com, where he literally goes through chapter and verse and says, look, it's a flat earth Bible. He goes, he goes with the exception of Isaiah 40, 22, which says, he who sitteth, sitteth upon the circle of the earth. That's the only one that could be in debate, because a lot of other people say, well, that means it's a sphere. He goes, no, circle is not sphere. Sphere is a globe. Sphere is a ball. A circle is a circle, you know, which yeah. could mean a flat circular yeah. earth. And there's a lot. I know, I'm not going to quote too many chapter and verses because it's not a chapter and verse show. No, but there are, there are a lot of uh, chapter and verse quotes. You know, the earth is immovable. The earth is fixed. The Genesis, uh, the firmament separating the waters above and the waters below. Um, yeah, but, right. but my favorite is the headstone of Werner von Braun. The Nazi scientist right. who became the founder of NASA, which is on his headstone. It's the year he was born, the year he died, and Psalms 19.1. I had to look it up, and it says okay. something like this. It says, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Why is the, the rocket scientist, why is that guy talking about uh, an enclosed world? And, and for me, it's like, I oh. I agree. He's... I totally agree. So, yeah. Absolutely. I read that. I, uh, who... Go ahead. To you, who do you think the secret society, because, you know, there's a lot of this thought about a specific secret society. What are your ideas in terms of the secret society? Who do you think is actually controlling us? I mean, every, you know, Illuminati, we, every, you hear that everywhere. You know, of course, yeah, it's on our hear, all I'm sorry, think, with it. But what is your thoughts on exactly, like, what is going on on that level? Like, the, which, on that, like, ooh, on that well, level, there's, it's a blessing and a curse. Think of it this way. The, the first rule of power is stay hidden. That's my version of it. The, the formal version is never put yourself in a position where you can be overthrown, which means if you have complete power— Like any mafia boss. There, yes, even, even more so, to where nobody, right. knows, nobody knows your name. You have so many layers between you and the general public that no one in the general public could ever, ever figure out who you are. And that, and that means basically that if you have, you have so much money that base, your, your bank accounts are meaningless because you can collapse economies if you wanted to. We're talking people with 12 digit, sure. thir 13 digit bank accounts, which don't technically exist. Some people would say the Rothschilds. Some people would say the Bilderbergs. Some people, there's all sorts well, of different. Well, what about the Vatican? It's well, the I, that's just it. How on earth am I wrong? No, no, no. The Vatican is also very, very powerful. I don't know if there's any, it's, you know, there's, enough people in different countries that the table that they sit at is still pretty small. I don't know what the criteria is to sit at this small table, but you can't have too many people because otherwise you don't get anything done. Uh, right. But, and like, I but if, think the Vatican's interesting because it's so old, and it's like, you know, the Pope used to have armies. The, he used to roll in there and rock and roll. The, he got the, smart. Now he's of, got, you know, the big white shining light. Yeah, that you're absolutely right. Billions. You're right. The the I the, mean, it's serious. The Vatican, you got to remember, and, it's yeah. it's it's the ro it's the remnants literally of the Roman Empire. You know those guys, the guys that pretty much ruled everything right. for literally a thousand years until they forgot what the hell ruling was about, and then they just let themselves get toppled. But they ruled for a thousand years. They didn't even change weapons Did for six hundred. Did they really years. get toppled then? Yeah, Did they really get I mean. Toppled? It's um, a little sketchy. The Ottoman Empire wasn't that West, Eastern Rome? Well, yeah, let, let's put it this way, though. You can't... Yeah. St the, the rules of war, you can only have a standing army stand for so long. A thousand years is such a ridiculously long time that... 
you it's it's beyond it's beyond our normal comprehension. I mean, you gotta remember the United States That's is only the Pope is in power. <laughs> the Pope has power, sure. That's right, it's, right? The oldest power, the oldest thing out there has to be it, right? Well, is it though? That's just it. We don't know. Well, it's don't a, it's forget a, the Pope and then they jumped on board. It's they jumped a, on board the, the globe earth theory for some reason. It's it's a shell game. But and they yeah, they did the they, Bible and the Bible says it changes, right? Inverts the truth. It's almost as if they, that's where it starts, right? There. I mean the Bible remember there's five religions in the world and they all have about a billion followers and they all have a huge amount of resources. So we yeah. we, we the little people are not meant to know there's some things again they're insulated for a reason. You know, the, remember I said, first rule of power. Uh, yeah. You can't, you can't be overthrown if they don't know you your name. You can't show yourself. Yeah, you can't. You you're can, right. You're, totally you're right. the guy. You're the guy. That. You're the guy that puts in kings. You put in presidents because those people. It's like, and if they get toppled, it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Who's the goods? Who are we gonna replace Just them with? Just throw the next guy in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what do you what do you think about the America right now in terms of all this? You know, there's so much rubbish, white privilege. And all this stuff that is just like not even on the radar in terms of the, the, the actual seriousness, like, you know, child, you know, child pedophile range. Yeah. Groups, a million children are disappearing. I, th- I mean, that is at the forefront. And all, now all this white stuff, it's almost as if like they're going after the country. I've even heard talks of the Civil War. I mean, what do you think about that? In terms okay, of I'll do, I'll do this because we, order I, got, of, I got 45 seconds, then we're going to break. Then unfortunately, I got to let you go because I still have one, two, three, four, five. I got a whole bunch of calls left. But that's okay. Let's um, Let me answer this real quick. I, you want to look up somebody really interesting, and, and this will sum it up real quick. Just, look up on YouTube a guy named Dylan Radigan. And that D Y L A N Radigan, I think it's R A T I G A N meltdown, where a few years ago, and he was a financial guy that worked for MSNBC, and he came out on air and said the United States is being extracted. And he quit. He basically quit his job, and he's now an organic farmer in California. And he was freaking Wall Street. And he goes, something's happening in this country. They're setting up America to fail. He goes, the stock market is a lie. He goes, everything, he goes, it's all an illusion. He goes, something is coming. Look up that if you get a chance. Dylan They're trying Radic- to take it down, right? Yeah, world. yeah, yeah. Dylan right, Radican meltdown. And You'll real love quick, it. what I was just, that guy saying to you earlier in terms of being a crook or a liar? Uh, Talking about shifting accounts. What was no, that? No, 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 no. You're going to have to look it up. It's it's just a guy throwing this is more mudslinging. We're going to music, man. I'll, we'll talk to you next okay, time, okay? okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from deception. T.L.R. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four. And I'm not even going to give out the phone number again because I've got so many calls backed up at this point. Uh, let's see. The last one on the list so far right here is 254. We are going to start, though, with 845 area code out of New York. New York. What's going on? Good evening. Zulu One, Agent Zulu One here, reporting for duty, 9654. Hey, roger that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know, man. I don't know. How, how, how can it be world. unbelievable? You know, some of the stuff people have written over the last couple of years. This isn't that much of a shock. I know. I, I know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Uh, you, you, I mean, you've heard, you've heard the show. You understand it. Look, the conspiracy crowd is to witchy. Seriously, you look cross-eyed in their direction, and uh, I honestly had people, and and most of my my friends are used to it now. They're saying, "Dude, don't joke about being an agent." It's like you know they're touchy enough as it is. I'm like, "Come on, no one's gonna believe it." Uh, well, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was gonna tell you. I remember uh, wrong button pushing class and field training too. <laughs> oh, thank you for remembering. With, with the elevator. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Josh. Yeah, I know. I looked like a complete idiot. I walk up to the elevator and I push That's the great. number. I don't push the button next to it. Yeah, I know. And again, I've I've been called a dork before. 
I, I remember specifically when, when Jaron actually told somebody he was uh, doing an interview with, and uh, he goes, oh, Mark, he's just a dork. And, and I didn't, I wasn't upset in the slightest. It was like, yeah, I have got a really dorky side on it. You got to remember, I used to own a comic book shop, for God's sakes. I'm about as nerdy as they get. You may not know it from looking at me, but I can out-nerd just about anyone when it, when it comes to stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I won't give you too many examples. I, I mean, hell, that. I used that. to... Uh, I used to that head you have. Thank you. I do have a huge head, <laughs> huge premium. It's a, it's oversize eight. I'm not exactly sure what size it is, but I used to host Magic the Gathering parties. Uh, mm-hmm. I was the guy that would stand in the movie parking lots, what waiting for this? the science fiction movies, hold saving seats for twenty or thirty people. Um, it was oh yeah. By the way, and peanut gallery says roll the twenty sided mm-hmm. dice. Yeah, and that's and that's true. I had to make a new one. Twenty sided dice. Hey, I got it. I got it. Hey, what do you got? <laughs> Uh, solid character will reflect itself in consistent behavior, while poor character will seek to hide behind deceptive words and actions. Nice. And that's not meant to be a dig at anybody, but I'm yeah. just saying, you've been consistent from the beginning. I don't, you know, I mean, it doesn't I make know. sense. I know. If but... you're trying to scam, what's your fucking angle? Exactly. You know, I don't exactly. get it. No, I, I get it. No, I mean, look, people look for when when you get to a certain point and look, I'm, I'm not going to shy away from it. I have done a whole bunch of interviews. I've made a whole bunch of content and I've talked to a whole bunch of people. I mean, there's, there's, this thing gets turned into a documentary. Hey, great. Fantastic. But the when you put yourself there, you, listen, you are going to be under more of a microscope. And people things look for things. They are going to. I'll I get it. Tell you it's uh, no. uh, look, I'm a huge. It's I follow flat. the. You know, I used to follow the celebrities as much as anybody. As far as, and I'm not saying I'm a celebrity. I'm just saying I get. I, I understand. You want to watch fun? Watch the celebrities on YouTube have meltdowns on reporters and stuff like that. They, you know, it, it's like it's hypocritical, which is why I can't judge. Because uh, there's some people that say, you know, oh, well, you know, I didn't invite you in my private life. It's yeah. like, no, no, no. He's an interesting guy, man. And, because uh, you, know, he you believes can't have it both ways. Kyrie. So, oh, anyway, um, the first one I had for you was uh, yeah. Time's yeah. Glory yeah. is to Calm so, Contending I, Kings I, to Unmask I, Falsehood <laughs> and Bring Truth to Light. Who said that? Shakespeare. Nice. Who was yeah. actually the stable guy, right? Yeah, exactly. Conspiracy yeah. With him. yeah, and then yeah, uh, slander. Yeah, look at this conspiracy on Shakespeare. There's a big thing. Yeah, he yeah. he wrote all this. Supposedly wrote all this stuff. And now there's people saying it really wasn't him. It was this other guy, and he was it was just a pen name, and somebody else took credit. Sure, why not? Slander is it is is an admission that you don't have anything else worthwhile to say. It is a clear indication of both your personal emotional bankruptcy and the paucity of whatever arguments you are advancing. And that's by Rebecca Hamilton. Oh, I, was gonna say I, that look, like I mean, I, I, mean I still like I, one of my favorite little conspiracies little quick is um, that Matt, you know, like Matt Damon and, and um, Ben Affleck, they wrote Goodwill Hunting, right? Right. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, you know, there's a little conspiracy going around there. Then I and I kind of go with it in that, you know, because they're good, really good friends with a fantastic writer, the name of which is Kevin Smith. What if Kevin Smith was the guy that wrote Goodwill Hunting? And they, yeah, were the, I, w- I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, and they were the face. It's like hell. Why not? Why not take credit for it? And then, well, you know, uh, 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 Kevin Smith then says, "Hey, by the way, you owe me. So if I want you in my movies, you're coming to my movies." You know, and I'm sure they're friends right. and all that. But I mean, a little symbiotic relationship. And hey, these two guys got launched. I mean, really, without them, would they still be? You know, they were freaking huge when that happened. So, right. There you go. Absolutely. Anyway, uh, so I'm I'm not I'm not concerned. Look, there's I've got bigger things to deal with. I'm still going to the conference. I still want to meet people, learn things, hear things. You know, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just sitting back. I I don't know. I, 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 I this I, one I, here. I hear you. Well, I don't and don't. Quote. I'm sorry, and don't Mark forget Queen. that. Some, don't forget, by the way, that tomorrow, uh, Patricia's probably going to have. The guy, Joe Real, actually on her show. Oh, the app guy? Yeah. Yeah, it's not like it's okay. he's not hard. It's not like he's living in the middle of the Sahara Desert somewhere in a tent. The guy's real. He's he was his last name, real. He's actually in San Diego. I just called him up and uh, trying to get him for the thing. So hopefully it'll work. Interesting. Yeah. Here I got I got one uh a starting quote. 
What do you got? Uh, it takes your enemy and your friend working together to hurt you to the heart. The one to oh. slander you and the other to get the news to you. Nice. That's good. That's good. I think yeah. Oscar Wilde said, uh, true friends stab you in the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, man. I hate to do this I to you, know. but unfortunately, uh, go I got to flow. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing because, like I said, I, but you've been consistent. It doesn't, to me, I can't see it, an angle. I don't see it. I mean, I, I you've I been can't. nothing but spreading everyone's deal. So, you know, and oh, and by the way, I agree. I, My theory, it's an enclosed world. Yeah. Obviously, if it's enclosed, the other stuff has to be incorporated into it. So thus, it was created. So probably the magma system and the water flow and all that shit is controlled. Sure. And well, I wouldn't, as far I wouldn't as the be. stars go, I agree with the projection, but not of light, of sound. Ooh, I, I know where you're going with that. The liquid creates that light. Because you remember that experiment where yeah, they did solo, it? Yeah, solo, solo, solo luminescence. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, All right, man. that's been my theory. Cool. All right. Cool. Keep it up. All right, man. I will talk to talk you soon, to you. and we'll we'll All talk. Right. We, I got one more show next week, and then uh, then we do the conference. That's right. Holy yeah. crap! I know, wow. Right. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. Let's jump right to it. We're gonna do four two five area code. Here we go. Four two five area code. You're on live with Strange World. What do you got? Okay, Mark. So you've been finally outed uh, as a NASA forward recon infiltrating agent. Meant to disrupt the flat Earth community, <laughs> and and oh, don't don't good. forget that I'm also now part of the gay mafia. That is true. There's somebody oh, okay. actually made a video on that. Yeah. Well, I, I'm actually. This is only going to take two minutes, but I'm okay. going to put a bullet in this whole thing. Oh, but, um, I mean, I, the, 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 I'm going to put this away really, really quick. Okay. Why o, ODD did what he did? I think you're right. He wanted out of the conference. Personally, I think. Uh, he's sort of like I am. I don't like groups, and you got kind of a complex about getting around. Right. And I think there was something – he just had that kind of uh, complex, and he looked for an out anyways. You were easy. But here we go, Mark. <laughs> Number one, it, yeah. it, it, is, it, is, it is universal that anybody that, that hears about Flat Earth or actually starts to look at it, there's only one word that everybody at first decides – uh, or, or think of, and it starts with an I. Can you finish the word? Uh, no. Insane. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, yeah, insane, okay. Right, it's insane. Of course, it's everybody insane. thinks it's insane. Right. Second, n- does anybody ever debate a flat earther? Mm, Never. No. Never no. a straight-up debate. That's why no. you haven't been able to go to – you can't breach the subject. Even if you were, let's just say you were a flat earth agent, there is no psyop, there is no downside, there is no reason to even engage people to actually make them actually open up and think about the possibility that there could be a flat earth. Sure. Third, there's like 20 million of us right now. Anybody that looks to debunk flat earth honestly becomes a flat earther. Right. I mean, it's automatic. Unless they're working for the system or they got some other agenda uh, or either prominent or whatever. They, everybody, there's a closet flat earth community out there that's incredible. Oh, yeah, uh, I agree. Fourth, yeah. Nobody, nobody has done more to spread flat earth than you. And you, you, you do bade. You, you started off with 101, real simple. I mean, it was retail type marketing with your clues. Now, uh, Matt, Matt Powerland. I saw him. I couldn't believe it, but at the same time, he had the ring of truth. He had that interview. You remember yep. Yep. sitting around with the NASA? And then the next person I hit was Eric Dubay. And Eric, uh, I think it was Flat Earth Conspiracy. After yeah. that, I knew it. I got a little weak, and then I hit your Flat Earth clues. And I'm talking about within two and a half hours, three hours of looking at the video, I already knew it. Of course, I know a lot of other stuff, nice. so it just dovetailed into what I already knew. Nice. But anyways, nobody's done more than what you've done uh, for uh, Flat Earth. So well, Thank you, man. This is That's just, awfully nice. Yeah, yeah. But no, no those are the facts. Well, those thanks. are the facts. Nice. So, and I don't know why this happened right before the conference. <laughs> I mean, this almost looks like some sort of demonic 
uh, something that's happened to try uh, to disrupt the whole thing. But uh, you wouldn't be the first one to say ridiculous. that. Yeah, that's all right. Again, we'll yeah. power through. Yeah, no, you... And two two weeks from now, the conference will be in it, and I'm going to give them everything I got. Yeah, listen, Mark, are you gonna are you gonna do that? Um, uh, Yellow Pages, uh, the, the encyclopedia of all uh, flat earthers, or a little booklet for you know three four bucks. It's got all <laughs> the websites because I know you you knew everybody. I know so, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it's it's going to be yeah, it's going to be on a flash drive. I'll just direct them to a special website type of thing. So, <laughs> no. oh, okay, okay. Take care, Mark. You, <laughs> Thanks, uh, you right. Patricia. Doing a great job. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, we're going to jump right to. Oh boy, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to get all the calls. I'm just going to kind of peck around here. Uh, let's do Australia because they are long distance. All right, Australia. Uh, I give you three minutes. What do you got? What's going on? Yeah, Marky Mark, what's going on? I've, I heard last week that you said there's a Flat Earth Australia conference coming up. Do you have any details on that? Um, no, I. Well, yeah, actually, I'm sorry, I do. Hang on one second. It is the as best I can tell. It's it's in the early early stages, and let's see if I can find it real fast. Let me scroll down. Um, right now, it looks like it's March 18th. It's going to be near Darling Park. You know, that, that park with the, the flat yeah, earth, the A way. map in the middle yeah. of it. So that's what it's looking at. Yeah, May, that's May, March, right. March 17th. I'm sorry, March 18th, 2017. They, and they were looking. They're already tentatively talking about flying me in on the – some uh, to be on some boat with some of the other people on the 15th. I'm sorry, on the – 3, 18, 15, no, on the 15th. I, you, the, you guys do your calendars different. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 17. <laughs> we're Jeez, in the I keep, future. Yeah, I keep thinking, yeah, so it's 17, 3, 18. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 15. Yeah, so they were thinking of bringing mm -hmm. me on the, the, the website is not up yet. But they, they asked me first, yeah, and I, I said. Yeah, I was looking, yeah. The web, website is not up yet. Yeah, I was, um, I was looking if, for anything. Yeah. If you yeah. want more information, if you want me to put you in touch with a guy who's thinking of doing it, Send me an email. Uh, remind me that you that what you're asking for, and I will I will forward you his email. How's that sound? Yeah, definitely. That sounds great. Yeah, if he's listening now, yeah, you can just email me directly at oddsisflat2 at hotmail dot com. Cool. Oh yeah, I'll drop you an email and uh, go from there. All right, thanks, Mark. Yeah, no worries. And uh, I, you have a good morning because so I know you, it's. You, hang on, it's, it's afternoon here. But are you are you actually going to come out to Australia, Mark? Are you going to come visit us down under? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, you bet. I, I've told everybody, look, you get me out there, I will definitely do it. So if there's an Australia conference, I'm absolutely going to be there. Holy shit, that's going to be awesome. I See know, you right? then. All right. Talk to you soon. <laughs> See you, mate. All right, bye-bye. Right. Okay, uh, we'll jump back up to Hilo, Hawaii. We're just going to jump all over the place. Down, uh, yeah, Peanut Gallery says, down under or way out? I think way out, which would actually be a great T-shirt. I should trademark that. All right, Hawaii, you got uh, three minutes. What you got? Aloha, Mark. Thank you for taking my call. This is my first time calling in. Okay. Um, I'm you. actually not calling to talk about Flat Earth with you, uh, okay. but I just wanted to uh, put a couple of words out there about um, computer and Internet security in general. Okay. Uh, of course, it seems like you've been having some issues yourself with uh, – with uh, people who buy up website domains and turtle on them. But um, the thing I wanted to mention is uh, basically about the three most common uh, vulnerabilities out there that, that, uh, that anybody can find if they look for it easily. Okay. Uh, the first one by far is crappy passwords, okay. default passwords or no passwords. Okay. So don't be that guy. Okay. Number two is printers and routers. Lots of printers and routers. All your crappy printers and routers. Okay. Uh, the most uh, the 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 most recent uh, episode of uh, Mr. Robot shows uh, the the main character using a website called Shodan, uh -huh. and this website uh, allows it allows people to search for all the things. On all the ports, all the peripherals, yeah, um, yeah, not not just websites. Okay. Uh, so you bring back all sorts of of, uh, of types of things. Uh, the example I gave with uh, with printers, uh, it was trivial to find as an example a list of uh, 
about 80,000 crappy HP printers out there yeah. with accessible web admin portals uh -huh. and default credentials or no credentials. Cool. So uh, the number three one is mobile devices with no root access. If you don't have root access to the device you own, you don't own your device. Open source for the win. Thank you for what you do, man. Thanks for taking my call. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Aloha. Aloha. And that is our safety message for the, for the day, kids. Computer security. Yeah, probably the most unusual call all night. All right. Uh, let's jump to, and I know this guy's been holding for a while. Uh, let's do 739 area code. Ready? 739. Seven, I'm sorry. 739. You're on with Strange World. You got three minutes. What do you got? 739. Were you just listening? 739. Oh, boy. Hit the, hit the, hit the button. Hit the microphone button. It's a rookie mistake and you hate to see it. Or are you just listening to the show? You know what? I'm just going to put him back on mute. Sorry, 739. Don't know what he was doing. He was there for a while, too. All right. Let's do uh, Anaheim, California. Anaheim, California. 714 area code. Are you there? Whoa, well, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ed, I'm no, not a I, fan of you. I just want to say that up, up front. Uh, okay. How are you affiliated with Metatron? I am not affiliated with Metatron. Metatron built MarkSargent.com. You are not affiliated with Metatron. No, I do not. Okay. I'm not so you do not know you do not know Ralph Real. No, no, no. I know him. I know him. They built the website back okay, in so he's, uh, in 2016. He's the CEO of Metatron, so you yeah. don't know him. He pays I, for your website. He, I. He, I pretty much he, bought the Mark Sargent brand. Oh uh, boy, you're just gonna you're just gonna roll with this, aren't you? There we go. Goodbye. All right, so let's pick up Camilla. Well, let's pick up 505 area code. Here we go. 505 area code. Are you there? Yes, I have a conspiracy theory, Mark. Sure. My conspiracy is that well, that you fed an easily debunkable storyline out there in order to drive traffic up, up to the conference, because it's working. And uh, I think it's rather effective G because it's got a lot of people's attention. And I'm like, I don't, it's a good marketing trick. That's what it was. It's genius is what it is. <laughs> no, e wait, easily debunkable. Yeah. I don't know if it's easily debunkable. I have yet, just so you know, I have yet to have a an academic call me. I mean, anyone with a master's degree or higher in any physical science to yet email me, call me, do anything to try to shut this thing down. Believe me when I say when when I put the clues out there, I would have quit if somebody just would have said, here's where you're wrong. You can shut down YouTube. And they didn't. And here we are two years later, the first conference in the history of the United States, 241 years. So I'm excited to excited to be a part of it. And that person, whoever it was, uh, thank you for calling, but they, they hung up and I, I didn't hear the click. It's a new system. I don't like it very much, but he's gone, whoever it was. Thank you. Uh, let's try Twin Cities, Minnesota. Twin Cities, Minnesota, 612 area code. You got three minutes. Go. Hey, Mark. Wes Stace here. I'm sorry I had to, I had to throw, jump in really quick because I wanted to let everyone know that I am stepping back from the flat earth for a while. Okay. Uh, with all the thing about what uh, you had said about the website, which is true, and I never thought about it myself because running Best Remodelers for 22 years, I had a website, bestremodelers.com, for 10 years. And then once I folded, uh, it got a notice from um, uh, the, the domain provider saying yeah. that my website was my my domain name was mm -hmm. going up for auction. And if you even look right now on Google and you punch in Best Remodelers, you will see that it comes up Best Remodelers uh, Inc. Somebody actually not only bought the domain name, they also took over the name, which I think is illegal. I could probably sue them because I had that name registered back in 93. However, that being said, I apologize for any misleadings that I did on any on chats earlier, oh. and I just need to step back because you know this has been a part of my life I for know, two man. freaking years. I know, man. It, and it, it's, I, it's I've perfect. stood up for I stood up with you and and Patricia anytime bad shit happened. I always stuck behind you guys. I, I, I am apologize. Not, for 
but you know what, man? I don't have to worry about you. You're you're okay. I I know. I've spent enough time with you on the phone and in hangouts and all this stuff. I'm not worried. Hey, look, Abe. Hey, hey, there is going to be, look. You think this is going to be the last of the mudslinging that's out there? Oh no, <laughs> we have. Hey, hey, there's still a long road to happen. It's not. It's, it's going to be a rocky road. This was not going to be without resistance. So, and I know it, right. it, it's it's harder on some people. Look, I have thick skin when it comes to this because I I I'm kind of tunnel visioned. I see the light at the end of this, and anything before that light, I just kind of brush through it. So, but no worries. Take your time. Yeah. And we'll 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 all get there together. You you know I'll have right. a drink. It's very big straight. It really is. No worries. But right yeah. now I'm doing what Joe Jackson does. I'm stepping out. <laughs> I like that. Good reference. All right, man. You have a you have a good yeah. night, and we'll talk soon. Okay. Don't be a stranger. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good one, Mark. All right. All right, so that was Wes from Flat Earth News, by the way. And I have to correct, uh, the, P- the peanut gallery was, was mentioning on that last caller, he was saying, and I'm sorry, and same with uh, Patricia, she was saying uh, he meant the ODD MGDV conspiracy is easily, easily debunkable. Yes, you're absolutely right. I am sorry. I completely thought he was coming, uh, he, was, he was doing something else with me. Uh, uh, not... I completely misunderstood that. So yes, the the MGTV thing, look, it's, it's easy. Any webmaster can tell you this. Go find it. If you want to attack me when it comes to the webmaster stuff, fine. You better know something about webmastering. You better find somebody in your IT department or if you know someone that's in IT and ask them those questions. Ask them about domains. Ask them about created dates and modified dates. This is Computers 101, people. You remember what I say at the end of all these things, do your own research. Okay, uh, real quick, I'm going to take one more call. Unfortunately, we're you, I, there's, I, there's six or seven still in the queue. I can't take them all. Uh, and this call is only going to be for like two minutes, then we're going to shut down the show because we're out of time. We've already done our two minutes. Let's try, heck, England. Somebody actually called in on the England line. Go figure that. UK, you're on. You may be the last call. We'll see. Hello, Mark. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hi. Mark. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You sound like an American calling from England. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm in. I, I'm in Ireland, but I'm not American. Oh, okay. Well, now you're actually. Tell you what, this, Mark. Can I ask the question? Are you going to hang up on anybody who asks you difficult questions tonight? No, not at all. But the questions better be respectful. Okay. Well, it certainly is. Can I yeah. ask what's your relationship with Metatron? Because oh. Metatron, Ralph. Ralph Real bought the domain Mark Sargent in 2012. So what was, it, what was your relationship with Metatron? Metatron, Metatron and I first spoke at the end of 2015. If they bought the Mark Sargent app or the Mark Sargent domain or any of that stuff in 2012 or before 2012, I had no knowledge of it whatsoever. They built my app at the end of 2015. They built MarkSargent.com at the beginning of 2016. My, and that makes perfect sense because my clues didn't come out until the beginning of 2015. So but if it you guys... It, it really doesn't make sense, Mark, because if you weren't affiliated with Metatron prior to that, why yeah. did they buy Mark Sargent? I know you said it's, he's a... He's a Prove that they chef, bought Mark whatever. Sargent. Look up... Do, look to Please do your own research before you make accusations like that. Seriously, go online. Type in domain I, I have, history. I, 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 look up. I have, I have, I have. Have you? They, Did you? They bought, and so wait, they okay, fine. Mark, okay, let's, see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how much history you've done. When was Mark Sargent first created? Give me the date. Ready? Go. Nope, that was see. by Metatron, 20, 2012. By Ralph it was Real. first created in two thousand. MarkSargent.com has changed hands fourteen times in the last eleven years, including being dropped <laughs> completely dropped in twenty twelve. Do you not think it's really strange? I mean, really strange and coincidental that Ralph Real, a guy that you're now affiliated with? Uh, And just like that, he was going to be the last caller. I'm sorry to end on a difficult note, but hey, what can I tell you? Rewind all the way to the back of the show. Listen from the beginning. I explain it. And just like that, here comes the music. We'll see you guys next week. Same flat time, same flat channel. Bye, guys. Model of the flat geocentric earth? <laughs>
I had to make a new one. What are you doing? Dancing in the